Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about P open and P close functions in Unix system programming. P open and P close functions are mainly used to open and close the pipe. So, right, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So, let's begin the explanation of P open and P close functions so if you want to know how a p open and p close function works first you have to know about pipe so if you want to know more about pipes uh, the video of a pipe is in the playlist unique system programming so you can go there and you can refer that video to know more about the pipes but here in this video i'll just give a brief idea about what is a pipe actually so if a two process wants to communicate with each other, that means if uh, to for inter process communication, I use pipe. So pipe acts as an interface between two processes. So if a two process wants to communicate with each other, they can communicate with each other using a pipe. So how they are going to communicate means uh, one process will write to the pipe and another, another process will read from the pipe. Right? In this way, uh, one process can write to the pipe and another process can read from that pipe. Right? So, I can use this p open and p close functions mainly to operate the pipe. Right? So, you can see here. So, a common operation is to create a pipe to another process. Why we have to create means to either read its output or send it input. Right? So the standard I/O library provides two functions for that purpose. That is p open and p close function, right? So these two uh, these two functions uh, handle all the work. So what they do means they they will create a pipe. After creating a pipe, forking a child, and after that, uh, if you want to close the unused ends of the pipe or executing a shell to run the command and waiting for the command to terminate. All these things uh, can be taken care by p open and p close functions, right? So these are the prototypes to create the. Uh, for example, you can see I'm going to use uh, p open function, right? Uh, to mainly use it to create a pipe. You can see there the arguments are command string. A string is a character. So and I'm using it. Uh, type argument and you know that uh, I will explain this no worries so if a p open is successful if a file pointer will be returned so otherwise null will be returned on error so you can close the pipe using a pointer that is a star f you can see there so termination status of a string will return right or error if it's error it will return one so you can see here the function p open what it does means it does a fork that means child will be created what is the child the child will be command string you can see the child is what that child is a command string the parent is going to create that command string uh, by using a fork and use a execute exec execute command to execute the command string and returns a standard io file pointer you can see here so if the argument type is r what happens the file pointer is connected to the standard output of the command string see r means for reading purpose that's why parent what it does right uh, the right the file pointer is connected to the standard output output because you have to read from the standard output that's why so the file pointers will be connected to the standard output thereby uh, parent can read from the standard output see result f is equal to p open command string read that means you can read from the standard output command string you can read from the command string that is from the standard output that's why so this is the syntax you are opening and you are reading in the same way uh, if it's for writing see the type will be changed from r to w the file pointer is connected to the standard input of the command string c because you are writing to the command string you are not reading from the command string 
a parent is writing to the child that is the, what is the child command string it will it will return sorry yeah it will write the information that is in the form of character right so thereby right so if you want to read you can use uh, you can read from the standard input if you want to write uh, you can write to the standard input see i'm opening the file and i'm writing to the command string that is child that is standard input and after this so i'm using p open function for this purpose but the p close function closes the standard input stream wait for the command to terminate and returns the termination uh, termination status to the shell so in simple words p close function closes the i uh, standard i o stream input stream or output stream both it can close after closing this after the reading and writing is over it can close after that it will wait for the command to terminate because this command should terminate right so once it terminates it returns the termination status to the shell right but if the shell cannot be executed the termination status returned by the p close is f if the shell had executed execute exit that is 127 right so these are some example how in a bourne shell the command string will be executed so to execute the command string the command is sh minus c in a bourne shell hope you are understanding guys right if the shell cannot be executed the terminator termination status written by p close is right what happens it will return executed which one exit will be executed right hope you are understanding guys i don't want to confuse you right suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video